Tramp was one of the first movies I ever saw in theaters, so naturally I loved it when I was a little kid. The story of an upper-class female dog that comes across a low-down, scroungy male dog is about as typical as it gets. At first they don't like each other, but a few situations force them together, and as they get to hang out more, they really decide that they're meant for each other. There's some differences to this usual story that I like. Like the fact that I enjoy when they first see each other, it's not love at first sight like so many other Disney films. If anything, he just sees her in passing and just strikes up a conversation. It's not even a pleasant conversation. He's talking about how a baby's gonna take over her life and that she's never gonna be the center of attention anymore. And then he just leaves. Honestly, if you didn't know the story going in, you probably wouldn't have guessed they'd be together by the end. I sort of like that. There's also a bunch of clever little touches too, like I enjoy how the dogs interpret everything. Like how the main character thinks that the name of her owners are Jim Deere and Darling. Simply because that's what they call each other all the time. Oh, Darling! In the kitchen, Jim Deere. As Disney films go, it's cute. Nothing that spectacular. It keeps your interest, you want to know what's gonna happen, but there's no real big surprises or any phenomenal bits of animation or... Well, just anything that really stands out that much. But for what it is, it's a decent film. It did give us that great Siamese song, though. I don't know, is that racist? Now, to... I'm not sure. But it's the one song everybody hums when they're leaving the theater, so that's gotta count for something. We are Siamese, if you please. We are Siamese, if you don't please. It is nice that they don't go for a straight-up villain in the movie or any of those four story cliches. Well, except maybe one or two. But they're pretty downplayed. The movie is pretty much just a series of moments. But they're nice moments, and I don't recall them ever being really boring. So overall, I think it's okay. I don't think it's one I'll be watching over and over like the other Disney films, but it holds up decent. If you're a dog lover, or if even not, check it out. It's worth an hour and a half of your time. On this love.